friends, it's good to see you back again. We are so excited. We're kind of go keep. We're ah, we're gonna keep going on the life of Moses. You know, we've learned a lot about the life working through the life of Moses. He was a pretty incredible man, and if you remember correctly, he was called the helper of God. God had asked him to be his helper to lead the children of Israel to out of Egypt. If you remember, Egypt was a bad place and they were slaves there. It was not good. Do you remember, friends, how God saved Moses when he was a baby? Do you? Yeah, there was a basket. Do you remember the basket? There was a basket. And you remember his mom put him in the basket to save him because they were not being nice to the baby boys back then. And his mom was able to save him by doing what God had asked him to do. And eventually Moses grew up in the palace, you remember? And then some stuff happened and he ended up out in the desert. And he was tending sheep in the wilderness, actually. You remember that? Do you remember who spoke to Moses from a burning bush? That's right, God spoke to him from a burning bush and he said to do what? You don't remember? He said, go back to Egypt. I know he didn't wanna go, he was scared, but God said, do it. And he said, I will do it, I'll obey your words. I'll do what you've asked me to do. And he went back to Egypt and he ended up being the leader of the children of Israel. Do you remember what he kept saying to Pharaoh? He wanted to get the children of Israel out of there. Do you remember that? No. He said, let my people, oh, now you remember? Go, that's right. Let my people go. And every time Pharaoh's heart got hard and he didn't listen, God sent another plague. Ooh, I know, yucky, yucky. Remember though, there was frogs and locusts like cricket, locust, gross thing, bugs, mm-hmm. Yep, and finally, Pharaoh listened. But do you remember when he listened? He didn't quite listen all the way because as they were leaving, he decided he changed his mind and he sent his soldiers after him. And the children of Israel, remember they got to the, to the Red Sea and they, they were scared. And God told Moses, don't worry. That's right, yep. Lift up your staff and you will pass through on dry ground. That is right, they passed through on dry ground. And then as the soldiers followed, God said, bring your staff down. And then that took the soldiers all away, the bad soldiers, and his people were free on the other side. So now they're there and they're living in the desert and they're kind of just living there, figuring out what to do next. And God tells Moses, I have some rules. You don't like rules? Well, rules are meant to keep us healthy and safe. Did you know that? There's lots of rules that the God put that keeps us healthy and safe, just like rules when we're driving a car. There's rules that we have to follow because if there were no rules, Oh, yeah, mm, yeah, mom ran a stop sign one time. It didn't go so well. Yeah, if you don't follow the rules, it can be a big mess. Just like in your home, do you have rules at your home? Can you remember some of the rules at your home? Oh, that's a good one. He's got a rule that he has to pick up behind himself. That is a good rule. It keeps everything clean and safe, and it, it's a good rule. Everybody should do that. If people didn't pick up behind themselves, it would be a really messy world. <laughs> it would not be fun to live in. So there's rules that God gives us as well. Those are home rules, and we all have rules at our home, but God gives us rules for everybody to live by. And we call them the 10 Commandments. Those are the rules, he gave 10. So friends, we can't go over all 10, but in your attached to the, the video, there is a little coloring sheet. It has a song 
Yes, I'm sorry, I put it right in front of him. He was not happy. He likes to see himself on camera. Sorry about that. There's a song and there's also a coloring book that goes over all of the 10 rules that Jesus or that God gave Moses had wrote them on tablets, tablets of stone. And he brought them down and he said, I want you to tuck these in your hearts. So you don't forget my rules, huh? Yep, you do? Oh, he's got one of God's rules written down in his heart. Shall we see what it is? Yeah, let's see. Oh, you have, hmm. Travis has a heart in his heart. And it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart. He's got a heart on a heart in his heart. He's got lots of love going on there. And yeah, you know what? That is actually part of the Bible. If you look back, there's in Matthew, some of uh, lawyers, some there were some lawyers back then, they were not nice and they were trying to trick Jesus. And they said, hey, tell us what is the greatest commandment? What's the best one? Which one should we follow? And he told them, he says, you know what? Here's the one that you follow. It's love the Lord your God with all your heart. And then love your neighbor as yourself. It says everything else in the Bible hangs, the word hangs, it hangs on these. If you just have those two things, everything else, you actually fulfill the rest of the commandments because it all has to do with loving God and loving others. And if you do those two things, you actually, it's easy to obey the other rules that God gives. So that is what we need to practice. We need to practice and know that we love God with all our heart, your heart, in your heart we can love God with all our heart and love others just as we love ourselves that is the most important those are the top things that God says to do so friends if you don't forget you can go on there's to the attachment you can get a copy of a coloring book and a coloring sheet that goes over the top well not the top but it goes over the ten the 10 rules that were actually written down on the tablets kind of help you to understand you can read them with your mom or dad or whoever's helping you today. And then you can always remember that he says the top rules over all are love the Lord your God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'm still very much looking forward so when we can get back into the classroom on a Sunday and see all your beautiful smiling faces. But until then, I love you guys. Have an amazing week. Bye.